Hi guys, my name is Rachel and welcome to today's episode of The Stanley Parable! The second to last episode! And we are in a mysterious whiteboard ending! Yes. <laughs> We've done an ending already! It's an achievement. Let's take a look at this mysterious, mysterious area. And a selection of serious tables. Extremely serious. Yes, I know there's another ending with the serious room, but I don't know how to get to the serious room. I mean, I know how to get to it, but I don't know how to open up the cheat console. So, yeah. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his Today? left. Nope. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire yes, it. Yes, definitely, we're going to... Um, uh, yeah. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way he had never known before. Was it this room? A connection between the two? Could a man love a room? I mean, truly, truly deeply, madly, love. Probably. <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his nope. left. Today. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay. I'm gonna do one ending right here. Oh well, look who's got cold feet. Sorry to break it to you, Stanley, but that lift isn't coming back. You'd best either get comfortable right here on this platform, or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. You know what? Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. Um... No. Come on. I'm sure you'll survive the jump. Don't tell me you're scared. That's not the Stanley I know. Do it! 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 This is an ending, by the way. Whoops. Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. <laughs> How clumsy of me. Really? Anyway. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a let's memo. Jump it, let's jump off it again, see what else we can get. I think there's another ending. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just yeah, to admire definitely. it. Yeah, definitely, that's what I wanted to do. The lounge was grand, mm. majestic, perhaps too yes. majestic, like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. It all made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. This made him smile, at last proof that he was human. <laughs> okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on no. his left. We're going to jump off again. That is another ending. You'll Stanley see. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five yep, yep, years yep. ago. Yep, yep, One, two, three, whee! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> anyway. Let's, um, do the end. Yeah. And there's an ending there. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, if, we, if I remember next week, I'll manage to do that ending that on the computer, the heaven ending. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on yep, his left. still need to go that way. No, wait, right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to yep, admire definitely. it. Yep, definitely, we need to do that again. And here it was, the lounge. What a room, Stanley thought to himself. What a room, what a room, what a room. This is what Stanley thought. What a room. What a room, what a room. What a room. Va-va-voom. What a room. 
<laughs> okay. But anyway, we're going to do the... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door oh. on his left. We're going to do the ending that unlocks the credits. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years mm -hmm. ago. Here we go. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, no. Stanley. Someone you've forgotten no. about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for Well, she has to wait. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. No. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Mm -hmm. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did I you chose. do that? You actually chose incorrectly. <clears throat> I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, it's no credits. Happened. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... Yes. No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a yes. real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of I the situation? Care. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional oh video. <laughs> Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Uh, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm meant to be having a back sack and crack. Okay. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> making choices on a regular yeah. basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, Thank welcome you. back. 
you may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Yes. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. A lot of danger everywhere. <laughs> now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. No, I could have. If there was a, if he was able to jump, then yeah. But no, we can't jump in this game. Fortunately, we jumped for days. Oh my dear, 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 dear. I can't believe it's almost the end of the series. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. It's kind of sad, really. <laughs> now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be hmm. up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope. Da, 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 da. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, <laughs> hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too oh, late. Mom's made for Sims 3. <laughs> Then, this way then. Oh, Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone, left here like so much garbage? It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? No. To willingly destroy no. all of my work? No, it's all right. Know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, no. I have to. I have to shut I'm the game down. Up. I have to. I have to. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Oh, what heck? Oh, hello. Oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. 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 Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been I victorious. It. it would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Hmm. Oh. Is behave exactly as right. Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. What is happening? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of Oops. disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an in. answer there. I can't go in a room closet. <laughs> oh. 
coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Can't go downstairs now. Dear, oh dear. Oh my, it's green now. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way yeah. to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver. Right there on the wall. I just did. <laughs> I did. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I'm sorry, is there a problem? Yes. You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the uh, receiver. Otherwise, we can't, can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Don't do anything. <laughs> okay, fine. You're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Mm -hmm. Oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his <gasps> left. Stanley. 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 Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? <laughs> Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. The end! I need you to Here walk we go. through the door. <gasps> Are you listening to me? <sighs> is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Ooh, our support Are you there? team and a sweet. You're listening to this, Stanley. Ah. <laughs> Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. Wow. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Blimey. Not being in Stanley, he's just nothing but... Nothing! Wow! That's the end of the Stanley Parable. Oh my goodness. Oh it's, oh, it's really sad that it's over now. Oh, I was getting so used to having it every Friday. But there'll be only one more episode of it now though. We'll be um, doing the uh, Easter eggs and the heaven ending as well now. Oh. One last episode. Ah, oh, it's really, really sad that it's over. So I really love the game. I really do. And now it's come to a close. <sighs> Started it in March. Now it's May. Surprised it it, it, it panned out this long. Oh. My first ever series finished. 
Anyway, if you liked today's video, make sure you give it a like. If you really, really liked it, give it a favourite. Also, hit the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. Also, don't forget to comment. And I hope to see you in the final episode of The Stanley Parable. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.